Good evening. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, guys. Good evening. Yay, I see my face now. Yes. Okay, okay. We are about to start. Let me Great. Let's wait for your classmates. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi. Okay, I'm ready. Right, so let me say, uh, Jasmine, she was the first one. Genesis, hi. Welcome, William. Hi. Hi, Erwin, Madeline is in the class, Andrea Giovanni, Jocelyn, and David. Okay. Hi, class, how are you? How was your day? Rainy. That's right. It was a rainy day. How about right now? Is it raining? out there especially a little bit okay yeah same here very good okay class let's start with this class what class is this one this is class number seven teacher that's number seven. Have about the topic from yesterday. What were we discussing? What was the main topic? What can you say about the topic from yesterday? We were uh, talking about personal experiences. Uh, yes. Okay. Through in by interviewing our classmates your classmate that was at the beginning of the class right yeah. and yes and after that we were having like extra information on ex or examples right about Jerome. Jerome's right so look what is the topic for today as you may see uh, in today's class, we are going to have gerunds as well. But in this case, gerund expressions or gerund phrases, right? This is a very similar topic and very useful as well. So this is the topic for today. Gerund phrases, gerund expressions. Great. So let me start by asking you, tell me about your job. Tell me about your career. Do you enjoy what you're doing in this moment? Do you enjoy the job that you have in this moment? Is that your dream job? What can you say about that? <laughs> hmm? uh I like very much teacher my my job I enjoy it. I I feel full of energy when I talk with the young people 
I I I feel a good. But then I I like to talk to them. I like to I like their their uh, their thoughts, their their words, their their uh, their jokes. It's it's uh, very special. Right? Can you For, tell it, your classmates about your job? What is your job? What do you do on a daily? I am a teacher. I He's teach a math. Yeah. He is a math teacher. In okay. in uh, the and the, the main the main problem in, in teaching math is uh, the feeling of the people that they can't. I can't. I don't understand. I don't understand. And, <laughs> and the true thing in math is not uh, that you can because you didn't do before. How could you can? The, the 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 main thing is to to try to do it to do it even though if wrong it's no matter exactly but, because uh, this is yes, like a learning you, process right <laughs> yes it's a learning process and and also it's a process that you make you are making a connection of your neurons yeah exactly and in the in the process of thinking the neurons are connected they are connected. even though the, the exercise is wrong but this is the kid is thinking the kid is trying uh, keeping going and they they improve they improve they improve yeah great so he is a math teacher jasmine how about you can you tell us about your job is that your dream job it's a heavy loaded question i plead the fifth <laughs> Okay. But I do enjoy what I'm doing right now. Okay. I like it. I le get to learn new things. I get to see and learn little details about other stuff that I didn't imagine I will ever get to do, which is, which is nice for me. Uh, about a dream job. I have no idea what would my, what my dream job would be. Never thought of it. Like, I, it's something that I actually like doing and um, and I get well paid for it. I don't see what's <laughs> Okay, okay. Interesting. Excellent, Jasmine. Uh, Fernando, tell me about you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I am a developer and basically we get requirements from the customers okay. uh, about the, the future, new future for the, the, the apps that we built and we have to, to type in code, type code. Mm -hmm. and I, we, you have to, to analyze the requirement, what the customer, uh, what, what, what are the, the stacks of the customer with the future. And uh, uh, when you develop that future in the, in the app, you finish your code, you, you finish your, your develop. Uh, that the that feature is going to to be test to be testing with with another partner. So, like basically, that is a basic process. That my work every day. Okay. So, do you enjoy uh, doing yes, this? I, yes, yeah. I am. I, but if you had the I, chance to go and pick another career or job, would you do it? Would you do that? No, I wouldn't because maybe uh, since I was a child, I, I remember. Really? Uh, every, okay. Yes, I, every, always I, I like the, the computers. And I, I remember in, in the high school, I studied uh, that career and in the university, I studied that career. So yeah, right. I am sure that I, am, I went uh, from from many, many years ago. <laughs> okay, interesting, great. Erwin, tell me about your job. What do you do? Do you enjoy doing it? Teacher. That, yeah. True, the true, the true. Sure. I think that I don't want to work more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only went vacation in my life. <laughs> 
Only that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the 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 how say the composition, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, for me, yes, I love my career. Yeah, I love my work. I have a passion to work. I have been in the work when I was a uh, six, 16 years old. Yeah. Okay. I love to work. You do, excellent. Genesis, yeah. tell me about you. What do you do? Do you enjoy doing what you do so, like every day? Yeah, so I am an architect and I, I've always been into uh, I, I've always loved designing, um, but nowadays, I, well, currently, I am at the engineering department. So I'm not, I'm not designing or doing what an architect is supposed to do. But I like my job because I, I think that I'm learning a lot of new things that are helpful because um, I've had my company my where i'm currently working at i have been able to be in many departments i was in the architectural department and localization mm -hmm. department and now i'm in the engineering department so it's been a nice experience uh is it my dream job what i am currently doing right now probably not probably but i not. i love it i i really love it what I'm doing. So. Okay, excellent. Andres Giovanni, do you love your job? If so, what is your job and why? Why do you love uh, it? I, I work as, as a family record. I have to, I, I have a system where I have to, to input all the information about their uh, marriages, divorce, oh. and deaths. I have to. I the statistic, the statistic. All about that, and I have to do reports for institutions that ask for that information. Okay. Like uh, health ministry, uh, digestive, registro nacional de las personas naturales. Mm, okay. And I like my job because it's really near from my house, only two blocks, and I go walking, and I can I can be in my house at the lunch. So that's what I like very much. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thank you. And let me show you this class. Look at these topic of discussion, careers and factors that influence your decision on choosing a job. And if you see, I have three categories. Which are they? ¿Cuáles son las tres categorías? What type of jobs can we have? Number one. Stable. Stable, mm -hmm. Stable jobs. Number two, adventurous, adventurous jobs or better paying. paying jobs, right. So can you give me examples about this type of job, stable jobs? Mm. What do you think about? Well, I think that in my field, mm -hmm. uh, it's sometimes hard to find a stable job oh, okay. because yeah, we mostly work uh, by project, uh, by uh, doing specific projects. And once they're finished, we have to find a new project to work on. So it's hard to find a company that is constantly making projects. And that would mean stability, that, it, uh, that they are constantly making projects. So there's mm -hmm. work to do for us. So it is very hard, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. how about teachers? Do they have? stable jobs what is your opinion yeah yeah i think so okay so that is uh, an example think about other possible examples careers jobs mm. stable jobs uh, 
doctors? Doctor. No? Okay, doctors. Excellent. Yeah. Teachers and doctor, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Not okay. Really. Lawyers? Maybe lawyers? Lawyers. Okay. Oh, yes, goodness. right. Lawyers. <laughs> Accountants? Yeah, right. Exactly. Um, business administrators? Probably. Probably, right? Mm. Okay. Great examples, adventures, <laughs> adventures, jobs, or career. Athletes, I think, okay. are adventures. Probably, yeah. Gracias, Sorry, maybe fly attendants because they are traveling. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. interesting. Adventures. Journalist. Live photographers. That's an adventure job. Yes, Lord. Journalist. Okay, journalists. Interesting. Any other example? Sellers. Okay, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, adventures. Interesting. And look at this one. Better paying jobs. Better paying. We all want better paying jobs. <laughs> let's be honest. Put it in. Those are fleet and say teachers. No, it's not in that category, right? It's, this is an unstable job, but not a better paying job. How about doctors? You know, um, yes, right? Engineers. Engineers. <laughs> okay. Architects. <is> there. <laughs> not always, but, <laughs> but yeah. Huh? Um... That they get great money, you know. ¿Qué piensa? What comes to your mind? Odontologists. Odontologists, for sure. They do, they, right? They, yeah, I know, I know a few <laughs> that really <laughs> make good money. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to quit my <laughs> job and I'm going to go study for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they earn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So, any other career pilot. job pilot probably right politician what is your opinion about that <laughs> politicians oh yeah right for sure yeah. come on is, is that a yoke teacher politician <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you tell me, is that a job? <laughs> ¿Qué piensan? Teacher. Uh -huh. the, in the future, at that moment, one kind of doctor, cirujano plástico, plastic surgeon. Yeah, right. <laughs> the best in that moment and in the future. Really? Yes, yes. Okay, class. Plastic surgeon, this is the name. <laughs> plastic surgeon. So after this class, probably <laughs> we would think it twice, right? Hey, you know, yeah. okay, being a teacher, being a plastic surgeon, okay, voy a pensarlo bien, right? So why <laughs> am I asking you about this? No para que se depriman, no, 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 it's not about that, right? Because this is part of the topic that we are going to have today. Look, what do you want from your career and I have three aspects right three factors that probably we may want from our job or career right so Harbin can you please help me out reading the first one okay the security yeah this one security if you want to have a study shows a job that you can keep for your whole life 
You could be a federal judge, a public school teacher, or a university professor. Okay, great. Adventure, Jocelyn. Okay, adventure. Perhaps you can't picture yourself doing the same thing at the same place for years and years. In that case, be something that will allow you to explore other places and other cultures like an environmentalist or a tour guide. Okay, and yeah, money. David, please. Me, teacher? Mm -hmm. Money? Money, yes, it's really about money. Do you want to have a high paying job? You might want to look into being a financial analyst, a doctor, <laughs> or a, a stock broker. But uh -huh. the, the the question is uh -huh. how how are the how long are the life of a stock broker? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is this class? Do you know the meaning of this one? Is the a new word? What is the definition that you can give me about this type of job? What is this? What do they do? Inversionista. Exactly. <laughs> Bitcoin is this thing. Not really, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not a Bitcoin. No funcionada, right? If you see security, adventure, and money, I need you to rank this factor from one as the most important to three as the last one, right? Think about it. Which one it is the most important whenever you want to in this case, to pick a job, right? Because you already have a career. So whenever you're looking for a new job, which one do you consider as number one, as the first one, the first priority? Security. Security. Why? Because security can be um, interpreted as like, oh, I'm going to have insurance. I'm going to have access to healthcare. Mm, okay. And and uh, it's, it's stable in the sense that I know I will always, I'm gonna have a job for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about having a job for a specific amount of time or for a long term. Uh, the second one, I, I guess, will be money. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, the amount of money that I earn enough so I can live with somewhat ease without getting too much worries. And I think the third one, it's a, it would be adventure. Yeah, because, adventure, right. Doesn't, I don't think adventure is essential in a job. I mean, it, it has to be entertaining if so, so you actually enjoy it, but I, I don't I don't think that's like that's the main thing. But you know, I think it depends on what stage of your life you're in because I mean if you're young oh, and you true. don't have too many responsibilities, I think it's nice to explore a little bit more like for in my career for example my field uh mm -hmm. sometimes you have to uh, get jobs independently and that that can be considered adventurous because yeah right uh, you yeah. yeah you really don't know what's gonna happen if you're gonna have money I actually was like for like that for a year and a half and it was it was sometimes really hard because I didn't get paid every month and I had to you know um make good use of my money and it was a super adventurous I don't know if right now at this moment in my life I would do that again but I think sometimes it's nice to be a little bit adventurous but I agree that security and money are more important <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah right same here let me listen William okay um I Which think that, first um, options yeah um like uh Josephine. uh first one security the second money and third adventure okay security money and adventure Thelma. <coughs> hello hi, hi Thelma. hi <laughs> oh my ranching uh in my opinion is the pen it depends your goals and okay. your knowledge is, but um, 
the in my opinion the range is um, security is depend your knowledge and it's um, money by but but i don't know i um adventure is is the final <laughs> because it's a risk <laughs> yeah right so the same ranking right Security, money, adventure. Madeline, yeah. what is your opinion about this one? Which factors do you consider? Well, uh, as, as, my, yeah. oh. mm -hmm. as my classmate say, I agree because uh, the per first one for me is security because you have to be comfortable in sharing in your environment. And at the same time, in the second one, money, because in that moment, that is very important if you want to live. <laughs> and <laughs> the third one, adventure. Adventure. Okay. So it means that if I, if somebody asks you in this moment, you know what? Um, why don't you quit your job? Because I have a, a business idea. So come, we get together, and we're gonna be entrepreneurs. What would you say? I would do it, I think. <laughs> okay, because, uh, <laughs> you're an adventure, sir. Yeah, and it's just that I feel that you should ask, we shouldn't, you know, stay for years or, forever mm -hmm. uh, on the same job because I've met people that because they are afraid of trying new things they've stayed exactly. uh, earning a little money and uh, for years and years and and I think that they don't grow because they don't want to risk it but sometimes it's good to take risks exactly there we go so let's continue let me ask you um Kenya, which factors do you consider when you pick a job or in the case you needed to pick another one? Which would be the factors? Um, security, um, then money, and okay, and the last one, it will be adventure. adventure. And adventure as well. Fredis, what is your opinion about it? My opinion, I would choose first money. Okay. Then security. And the last that last percent will be adventure. Okay. Why money as the first option? Uh because um actually I need I need to know that I have um enough money, mm -hmm. then that will give me the security that I need. So, money as the first option. Yes. Francisco, in your opinion? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Um, I think that, well, for me, is security and money. The last is adventure. Why? Uh, because, well, I prefer to have a, how do you say, a stability laboral? Stability? Stability, labority, uh, than a bit. Okay. Yeah, obviously, the have, <laughs> a, uh, have enough money. A great income. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, right. You know, in my case, yes, it will be the first one. You know, I suffer right now. Of course, I do enjoy what I do. I do like my job and I do like teaching as well. But the first one, it will be adventure, you know, because I think that if you don't try, you, uh, well, in my case, I don't want to be like a teacher, you know, and to get another job as a teacher because this is my career about an English teacher. But you know, I really like to try different things, you know, different type of jobs, different type of activities. And 
I can say that I've been doing this uh, since the pandemic, right? Because in 2020, I decided, I, because I was working as a teacher, you know? But I decided to quit, you know? And then I said, I'm going to try different things, new things, you know? And to be honest, I have never shared this with my classmates, but I was even working in a subway, you know, because I just wanted to try, you know, <laughs> because every time that I go and get a subway, I do enjoy, you know, what they do. And it seems easy, but it's not, you know, it is not. It is a very hard job. And I just stayed there just for like two months <laughs> and then I quit because I I didn't like it, you know? So I think, and then I came back with English Corporativo and I took some groups because I had been teaching with this academy for a while. And then I said, no, 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 let's, let's get back, you know, to what I really enjoy doing. So adventures, because you need to have something to tell your kids, you know, whenever uh, you have grandkids, you will need to tell them about these type of experiences, right? So if you don't try, uh, I guess you're not going to have those type of experiences as well. Huh? Interesting, interesting opinions, guys. You see, everyone has a different opinion. So before I forget, I need to check the attendance list. I've, I've already forgotten about this. Let me see. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Eh... Who's the first one? Just give me a second. Okay, here we go. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso por ti. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Listen, teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Listen, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. I'm here. Okay, Freddy's Vladimir is here. And this is Carmen Hernandez Virzuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernandez Velasquez. Present. Madeline Chamilet Molina González. Present. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Present. Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Very good job. Okay, so what are we going to do in this moment? If you see, we have been talking about careers, jobs, and I have some opinions about, or perspectives about career choices. Different opinions about similar or the same jobs they are having an opinion about. If you see, I have different colors here, so, we have opinions about different type of child. So I can look at the first one, the one that is in light blue. What is this job about and what is this opinion about? That is, go ahead, please. Read both opinions about this type of child. Okay, I'd like to work in the video games industry. Playing games uh, all day could be lots of fun. I disagree. Playing the same game every day for a month could be boring. 
Okay, what is this chat about? Video game? Video game is a period, period. <laughs> okay, what, what do you think is the role of someone who is working in a video game industry class? What do they do? What are the activities they do? This team video games teacher. Okay, what else? They make them, they design them. Design? Design as well, right? So, with, let me see, I have this girl's opinion and this guy's opinion. Which one, in your opinion, uh, will be like, according to you, or which one do you agree with? Uh, I think that she's a, a video game tester mm -hmm. because she said in, in, the, in her description that he, he's playing video games all the day. So I, I think she's a video game tester, so. But look what she's saying. I would like to work. I like to work. So she's not working. Oh in that field at this moment. So I would like to work in the video game industry. Playing games all day will be lots of fun. You know what? I actually think she's probably not referring to the designing of games because she's mm -hmm. talking about playing games. So maybe like a, a streamer uh, that, you know, that plays on, on YouTube and they record themselves playing. That would be fun <laughs> to get paid to, for doing that. Okay. And I agree with her. Who else? Harvey, in your opinion, do you agree or disagree with this girl? On what yes, she's I saying? agree. Why? Yes, because playing video games all the day is funny, right? Really? Okay. Yeah. Let me ask Thelma, what is your opinion about this girl? What is she expressing in this moment? Well, she loves your job. Uh, create, it's probably create, she creates uh, the video game. But it's uh, boring. <laughs> it's, uh, in your um, opinion, is it boring? Or would you like to work in the video game industry? No, no, no. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting because, it's exciting. Uh, yeah, because uh, the people, the the person that uh, create a, a video video game is uh, video game have many ideas. Okay, yeah. so we agree on it. Yeah, on the opinion she's making right now. Okay, take a look at the other one, the one in red. Erwin, go ahead and read both. Both comments about the same job. Yes, but the, I disagree this one. Okay. I disagree playing the same game every day for a month. It will be worried. Boring. Yeah, right. Same here. In my case, I disagree. Okay. Tell us about this information. What is this job about? Yes, I continue. Yeah, just read. Read the okay. information that we have here. Being a fact, attend the state, uh, uh, attend some very exciting traveling all the time will be really interesting. But fire attendants, but the fire attendants get tired of traveling. They spend most of their time in airports. Okay. So do you agree with this girl's opinion or with this guy's opinion? With the girl's opinion. Okay. Do you think they really get tired of traveling? I imagine so after a while. <laughs> really? It's like if you, I mean, if you haven't gone back in your, to your home like for mm -hmm. months and let's say you have to be tending a flight for God knows how long mm -hmm. and you arrive very late, eventually it will lose its charm. Okay. Freddy's, in your opinion, do you agree with this girl's comment about flight attendants or with this boy's comments about this job? I have two different opinions. 
Okay. And uh, my first opinion, it looks interesting because um, you'll be traveling around the world. The second opinion, uh, it could be boring and tired because you don't know what kind of people you're gonna be attending. Their attitude, the sometimes there's some angry persons. Okay. And I think um, you get tired of that kind of job because you be kind of stressing too because most of the time you'll be like from one place to another on a mm -hmm. rush. So, yeah, so, you, so you don't get to see your family that often as well. So, exactly. So probably traveling all the time, it wouldn't be that interesting. You have to be a single person in order to do that. Okay. There we go. Uh, Francisco, continue please. The information that we have in the green box. What is this job about? And please tell me about this boy and girl's opinion. Uh, nowadays, depends, teacher, because both roles, I think that both genders have the, the, the same abilities. Okay. So, so read this information, please. Okay. The same clothes. Clothes. If mm -hmm. it's not my job, uh -huh. women are much more uh, fascinating. 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 Okay, great. Uh, that is not true. Maybe, uh, sorry, that is not true. Many grand fashion designers are men. You look at Michael Kors. At Michael Kors. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you know about this designer? Who is Michael Kors? No. No? Have you ever heard about him? Michael Kors. Yeah, he was like, um, he was a judge in this thing, like, Project Runway. Yeah. And he designed <laughs> clothes and then accessories and, and purses as well. well. Purses. I think he's more, more famous for his purses rather than clothing. Yes. I know him because of his purses as well. Right. So my, Michael Kors. Designing clothes is not a men's job. Do you agree or disagree in this opinion? <laughs> well, most famous designers are men. Are men. Uh, the men, right? Yeah, That's... so Karl Lagerfeld, Oscar de la Renta, Michael Kors, huh? all of those are men. All of them are men, right. William, do you agree or disagree with this girl's opinion or with this boy's opinion as well? Uh, I disagree with this boy. Why? Uh, because uh, as she said, um, many great fashion designers are men mm -hmm. and, and most of them are gay too, but they are men, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. Let me see, Fernando, what is your opinion about this girl's comment? Uh, I not agree because uh, no matter uh, who you are, the man or woman, you can be, you could be the, that you want to be. Uh, for me, it's not a problem. And yes, a man can could do the do it that job is not a problem. It's not a problem, right? Excellent. Let's have the last one. Last example about jobs. Who hasn't participated today? Veamos que me falta. Andres Giovanni, go ahead, please. Okay. The yellow one. I enjoy working with animals. I think working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. I'm not sure animals can be very unpredictable. Getting a dog bite would be scary. Okay. Do you agree with this boy's opinion or not? Uh, no. No, I, I agree with the girl. With this girl, with her opinion, okay. Why? 
Uh, because maybe I like dogs. Ah, uh, because you love dogs as well. Yes. Okay. David, what is your opinion about these girls? Uh, what is she saying about animals? Working with animals. Uh, I, I think it's uh, the, it depends on the, your abilities. I I saw people that uh, can uh, talk to the dogs and the dogs get calm. And uh, there are other people that uh, the dog get nervous. Okay. There are people that uh, have the ability. Uh, our dog, our dog is is, is very crazy. <laughs> it's very crazy even though with with the, the owners, but there are there is a veterinarian that they can uh, uh, talk to the dog, they, they touch the dog, and, and uh, get vaccinate vaccinate the dog, and the dog is is calm. Okay. And if you have the ability, you have the the don in Spanish. I don't know how to say the gift in in English. The gift. I, I see it's uh, very rewarding for you. But if you don't have it, you can get a bite. <laughs> yes. You better not try, right? <laughs> yes. Very good. Take a look at the expressions that I have, ha that I highlight, right? Playing games all day will be lots of fun. Mira el primer ejemplo. Second one, traveling all the time will be really interesting. Designing clothes is not a man's job. Can you help me out finding similar expressions? Designing, using gerunds as well. Something like teaching classes every day is exciting. Okay, teaching classes every day is exciting. But I'm still missing some in these examples that I have here. I'm still missing some examples help me out finding out these gerund phrases. Playing the same game. Playing the same game. Every day for months will be boring. Okay. Another one, another example. I'm still missing two examples. Example of the use of gerunds? Mm -hmm, exactly. Getting, in the last one, getting a getting dog. A go. There we go, getting a dog. Bye, will be scary. But I'm still missing one. Being a flight attendant? Probably. Or not. Mm -hmm. Probably. But fly attendants get tired of traveling. traveling. There we go. So playing games all day will be lots of fun. Playing the same game every day for months will be boring. Look. These are great examples about gerund phrases. Gerund phrases, okay? Can I and, ask something? Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't the one that says being a flight attendant sounds very exciting? Is that not a gerund? At the beginning, yes, it is. Sure, okay. thank you so much. Este, aquí está, yeah. So in this case, in his opinion, you may see that he is using two gerund expressions. Right, interesting. Thank you so much, Genesis. So let's move on. Take a look at this one. What are the differences or what type of gerund phrases do we have? As you may see here, I have the previous examples, the ones that we were coming to, we were having in the last, uh, Exercise. Gerund phrases as a subject or acting as subjects and gerund phrases as objects. Of course, whenever we say or when we say subject, it means that we are going to find this expression at the beginning of the sentence, 
right? Because in this case, this expression, it is telling us about the information that we need to have at the beginning. Look, playing games all day. So playing is the general, but if you see, we can not only have this one by itself playing. We need to have like extra information. So that's why we are referring to this expression as a gerund phrase. There we go. Erwin, go ahead and read the, the second one. Second example, please. Playing a flight attempt so exciting. There we go. Thelma, continue. Designing clothes is not a man's job. It's not a man's job. There we go. Andres, continue. Working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Rewarding. There we go. Genesis, go ahead, please. Continue with this one. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Should be good at testing games. Jasmine, go ahead and continue. Uh, he'd love being a flight attendant. There we go. Fernando. Uh, he wouldn't like being a fashion designer. And William. She'd enjoy working with animals. Working with animals. So what can you see in these examples? What is the difference whenever we have gerund phrases acting as objects? What do you have before the gerund phrase? The second phrase is a verb. It's and a the verb. gerund phrase is the object of the verb. Okay. Verb to be. Love, Therefore. like, and enjoy. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que hemos estado viendo. Más que todo, gerund phrases as objects. Pero no hemos visto these, these ones. Acting as subjects. So, ¿cuál sería la estructura para este? Playing games all day. Can we replace this gerund phrase by a pronoun or not? What is your opinion? Yes, we can. Uh -huh. we can uh, uh, the subject. Yes, it's the subject. Yes, we can do it. So, ¿qué pronoun ocuparíamos? If we want to replace all of this information and we want to Instead of using this general phrase, use a pronoun, which it will be. In the first, in the first sentence is mm -hmm. it. It could be a lot of fun. Yes. Only in the first example. Just there. How about Playing number games. two, three, and four? It sounds, yes, yes. Okay, it. Oh, it it, it uh, could, yes. It sounds it, exciting. All of them, yes. In number three? Yes. Yes. It. It. It is not a man's job. Not a man's job. And in number warm. four. It, it, it as well. Yes. It could be rewarding. So how do you know or how do I uh, can't know if this is a gerund phrase or not? This is uh, acting like, uh, like a subject. Mm -hmm. You can change it for a, by a pronoun or by an exactly. a Exactly. There we go. If I can replace all of this information, but this pronoun, this one, it, so it means that this is a gerund phrase. Simple as that. ¿Cómo sé hasta dónde tengo que llegar? What is my 
a general phrase. If I can replace all of this information by using it, so it means that this is a general phrase, okay? In simple words. This is like the rule that we need to follow. Playing games all day, right. So can we apply the same rule in general phrases as objects? Yes or no? She will be right. Love it. Yes. Yes, we yes. can do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so can you read the examples? You don't phrase as a subject, but by substituting this one by this pronoun, it. <laughs> she is be good. Okay. She good that it. Number yes. two. She love, love it. That. There love we it. go. Number three. You wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like it. And last or one. like it. Mm -hmm. She enjoy it. Enjoy. Chill. Okay. She enjoyed it. So it's the same rule. There we go. So as a conclusion, what can you say about this one? How can we say that this is a general phrase? Or how can I know that this expression is a general phrase? Mm -hmm. Because you can change Place it. it. Replace it. Because well, I replace it with a pronoun. Which one? Which pronoun? It. 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 So this is what I want you to keep in mind, right? Because we are going to have this exercise right now. Gerons as subjects and as pronouns. So in the case that you want to have a definition, right? Look, same information as we were having previously. How can I know that in my sentence, um, I have a general phrase. Genesis, go ahead and read the information, please. Uh, identifying gerund phrases. Here we go. Descri description. A gerund phrase consists of a gerund and any modifiers or complements it may have. Uh, do I keep reading? Yeah, please. Okay, example. Walking in the rain is sometimes fun. How to find it? Look for the entire group of words that can be substituted by the word it. Remember that nouns can be substituted with pronouns and that a gerund is a noun. Therefore, it can be substituted with it, though the sentence will be very vague. Mm -hmm. Like example, swinging in the trees can be dangerous. It can be dangerous. So there we go. If you want to take some notes about uh, this comment or this explanation, it would be great. Because remember, we need to know the difference about this type of grammar topics, okay? Because we're gonna keep on working um, in unit number two as well. If you remember, we have been working with germs only, right? So, so for right now, we're going to be working in with general phrases. So take a look at this information. You can write it down in, on your notebook. There we go. So let's go. Vamos ya a la práctica. Let's go to practice. What are we going to do? If you see, this is the exercise that we're gonna be having right now. What are we going to do? We are going to and um, create, okay, make sentences using the information that we have in letter A, B, and C. You are going to try to make different sentences using this information. Of course, in this case, we are just going to have this example with gerunds working as subjects, you know? Gerunds working as subjects in this case. So I'm going to ask you to go talk to your classmates and try to write this information. And after that, we are coming back and we are comparing the information that you got, okay? So this is what we are going to do right now. 
here we go. I'm going to send this information to WhatsApp so you can go and check the information. And if you want to share your screen, it will be really helpful, you know, so your classmates can take a look at the picture and have the information there. So here we go, class. Let's go. You put in different groups, teacher? Yes. Okay, just give me a second. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, David, you are in group number two and five. Let me send you to group number two. Aquí vamos a ver. William, okay. group number six. Aquí estamos. Okay, me voy al dos. Okay, let me send you the information. It's something. Yes. But they don't, they don't say anything, right? Uh, yes, actually, we need to. Uh... Oh, I got the picture. Okay, girl, you can take a look at the picture that I sent. Huh? And <laughs> if you can, you can share your screen. So you can take oh. a look at the picture. And we are going to make sentences, create sentences, okay? Using the information from column A, B, and C. We have to run. As the first activity, right, you're just uh, going to make the sentence. Uh, uh -huh. That we both agree. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Please. I want to share the. Okay, hi, class. So let me repeat the instructions. I need you to look at the general phrases that we have in column A and try to write your opinion of each job by choosing information from columns B and C. You are going to create sentences, okay? Using the information from column A, B, and C, okay? Only create sentences. So is it clear what you're going to do right now? No, teacher, being honest. Okay. For example, what information do we have in column A, in la columna A, working from home? Mm -hmm. Let's pick Teams. information from letter B and then mm -hmm. for letter C as the complement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Working from home, in my opinion, could be stressful. What is your okay. opinion about that? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I got it. You got it? 
-hmm. How many sentences are you going to have at the end? 10. 10 different sentences. But remember, try to have different ideas because I guess we do not have like the same opinion uh, about working from home, right? So listen to your classmates and then try to write the information because at the end we are going to the main room and I really need to listen about your comments about working from home, doing volunteer work and all of the examples that we have there. Okay? Okay. okay. There we go. Excellent. Go ahead and work. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Number one. Hi, guys. Let me ask you, is it clear what we're going to do in this moment? Uh, I think, yeah, we're, we're choosing uh, the gerund phrases from column A. Exactly. And then we're mixing with uh, information first, from column B and B and C. But it's, it's not necessary for it to be in order, right? We not right. Not really. Order. Not really. So uh, how okay. many sentences are you getting at the end? Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> we only have two for, for, that's for right now. But yeah, based on the examples, how many sentences? Are you going to? Oh, are we, ah, are we gonna create the whole 10 of them or just the yes. last two? No, 10, 10, right? Oh, right, okay, exactly. yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what we're doing. We, we're just uh, on number two right now. Oh, okay, we're, so interesting. We're getting there. Don't worry, keep on working. Okay, okay. thank you. So the second one doing, Pero... Hello, guys. Is it uh, clear what we are going to do in this moment? No. No. So why don't you ask me? I did. I was I was inviting the house. Really? I didn't get yeah. any. I was yeah, like, look. I was like, I was like, I was like, I Look, what do I have here? We are going to write or express our opinion about each job. How are we going to do this? For example, what is your opinion about working from home? In my opinion, mm, working be from home could be fantastic. Could be, could no, be stressful for me. Stressful. Okay. Yeah, stressful. So yeah. what is your opinion, Fredis? Why it could be stressful for me? It would be is, fantastic. It no, it's not. It is stressful. So, what mm -hmm. is your opinion about working from home? Yeah. For me, it's fantastic because <laughs> okay. you just get up and take a shower. You can uh -huh. work move and eat at the same time. <laughs> in other places. So, okay. in French opinion, working from home could be fantastic. Okay. You know why? You know why I think it could be fantastic because. Uh -huh. I, the teacher that I had like two modules before, mm -hmm. he used to work. Well, he works from home or uh, a black hawk. Ah, okay. And he said that it, it's great because he could get he gets up and if he wants he goes take a shower or if he, it's comfortable. He, he just sits on, on the computer, start working, uh -huh. and then he could be eating and working. Okay. Yes, you know, as I mentioned before, I guess I told you guys I work from home, you know, but sometimes like one or twice a week, I need to go to my office, right? So what you're mentioning is true because exactly, I wake up, you know, if I don't want to take a shower, I do not. No, I can be eating because I don't need to have like my camera on. But why am I saying that this is a stressful? Because what? my son, he's six years old and he's taking classes from home as well. So oh, okay. I need to be taking care of him, you know, and whenever it, he'll be asking he for help. Have his breakfast, I need to go in a rush and prepare his breakfast, you know. I don't know. That's why I don't really like to be here. <laughs> so that's why it's my opinion. Teacher, the question that I had. 
that the question that I had actually the doubt that I had mm -hmm. is that when we were making the the sentence, if we had to add it on it. Not really. Not ah, really. okay. That's why we we're not working on it right now. So, so like, look, working from home could be stressful. And then you have a great sentence. So oh. you just need to give your opinion about this type of job. And if you okay. see in number nine and 10, what do we need to do? Try to give similar sentences or similar jobs. Porque todos estos son trabajos, meaning jobs. So give me two different examples about jobs and create sentences as well. So at the end, you are going to have 10 different opinions. Perfect. And this is what we're going to do. So go ahead and work, please. Okay. Um, if you could share your screen, it would be very useful. So your classmates can take a look at the information as well. So probably Fred, Francisco, or Thelma, if you can do it, it would be great. Okay. There we go. Francisco, you're saying to shine. Okay. I try. Let me check. Give me a moment. Hello. Maybe. Hi. Hello. Okay, I'm sorry for interrupting, but let me yes. ask you: Is it clear what we're doing in this moment? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. So, how many sentences or how many different opinions? Are we going to have about these jobs at the end? So we have. Uh... We agree in everything, teacher. <laughs> we are <laughs> really? a good team. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, we have like uh, we have like two <laughs> like two sentences for each um, job or ah, each okay. sentence. So we have two different versions of it. So, so currently, we have number six. In my opinion, working from home could be stressful. What is your opinion, Jasmine? Seems kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you're it at home, it but you're depends. not. In, it depends. It will oh, depend. Okay. It depends. So you see, you do not agree because you're saying we That's do agree we have, in all of them. Really? I mean, we, we agree <laughs> in the options we have. And Fernando, like we have. What is your opinion about working from home? Would be fantastic. I used to work from home, but when I change my my job, so I have to to go to the office every day. Okay, that is okay. a sacrifice that I have to do. Yes, yeah, sacrifice. Right? We do not really enjoy doing that. There we go. So, great job. Please do not tell me why in this moment. We are just getting to write different opinions about, about each job. And please think about two different jobs so we can make sentences as well. So keep on working. Very good job, class. Okay. All right. Okay, let's okay. continue. So we're in sentence. Hello, class. Did you Hello? finish? Is it clear what we are doing in this moment? Yes. yes. Did you yes. finish? So you finished? No. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if it's Harvin, Doris, or Madeline, if you could share your screen, because in that way it's easier. So we can take a look at the information that we have yes. and we can discuss about it. Okay. I will share. It. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay, in that way it's easier. Very good job. So keep on working. Okay, and Darwin, and number is six. Let me write number six. Okay. Making a living as a tour key. Oh. 
making a living as a tour guide could be, oh, I don't know, for me, kind of, could be kind of boring for me. Really? <laughs> I don't like, yes. I don't like to travel. I have oh. to be honest. Oh, you like to stay in your house? Yes, I love to stay in my home. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's, it's fantastic. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Travel. And... Every, every, every single day, you explain the same thing. Will be mm -hmm. a kind of boring, right? Yeah. But I like travel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? A yeah. long travel or a short travel? Uh, mm, long, because I like to see different uh, lands. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. And feel the air in my, <laughs> in my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I can live part of my my home, I think. Mm. Yes, I can. I can sleep if if it's not in my bed. <laughs> if you are in... mm -hmm. I don't know why, but for okay. example, when I go to visit a, a some family in another department here in Salvador, mm -hmm. for me it's difficult to sleep in another bed. Ah, yeah, that is difficult for me. Uh, it is the same because I like to travel, but uh, return the same day. <laughs> and don't sleep in another. Ah, so but, it's um, not a, a long travel. At the moment, I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Imagine the living visited a uh, a hotel by hotel. Now nah, I think this is not is not a thing that I like to do. Uh, I think it will it will be tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, once a year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, taking care of sick people. For me, yeah, will be pretty difficult. Yes, it's difficult. Yeah. I have an experience like this, for example, two years ago when I started the university, we, I don't know who say in English, we visited a asilo and we spent a lot of time with the old people and it's difficult to to be with them. Yes. We care about them. They, they, I think that they are like a, we have to take, take care of them. Oh. And uh, we have retaining uh, uh, the, the letter A, we finished. Yeah. Number five, being a teacher. For you, Jarvis. What do you think about the number eight, retiring at age 40? Strong business. Will be. Uh, will be fantastic, fascinating. Could be. Oh. I think fantastic. Fantastic. is fun. Pero ya lo tenemos. Um, uh, rewarding, uh, very challenging. 
don't worry. If you want, you can repeat the information, okay? It doesn't oh, matter. Really? Yes, okay. Really? Sure, sure. Oh, okay. Cast your based on your opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. your and then could it be? we use will be. Yes, you can use will be in all of the example if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Having your business could be mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay, great. Or pretty difficult. Okay. Be, be I started a small business on Christmas. It was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> The number four, working on a movie set. Movie set it. Would not be. Uh, doesn't, doesn't sound. Doesn't sound. Must be. Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. You did. Okay, great. So let me see. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, tell me your opinion about working from home. What is your opinion about working from home? For me, teacher, mm -hmm. I think my guy is in, is in the bathroom. Yeah, my guy is, my, my, other, my other guy is in the bathroom. Working in the bathroom must be fantastic. Okay, there we go. Number two, doing volunteer work. What is your opinion about doing volunteer work? Could be stressful. Could be stressful. Very good you job. Have a, you have a, a help weight, a help weight, and you will help the people, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, you will have a stress because uh, you will be a volunteer that I do, you, you are not specialist in yeah. for to do, for to do it, okay? There we go. Um, your opinion about having your own business? Wow. Okay, um, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Must be stressful. Must be stressful. Yes, right? Because you need to take care of a lot of activities and people at the same time, right? You think all the time the business, if you live, you think about this one. If you have a okay. kitchen, you have to think about this one all yes. the time. Okay. All day, you know? There we go. Being a teacher. Being a teacher uh, must be pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Making a living as a tour guide. For me, for me, uh, seems stressful to no, seems fantastic. Fantastic, there we go. Number seven, taking care of six, six people. Uh, I think that must be really rewarding. There we go. Yeah. Retiring at age 40. Oops. Could be <laughs> painful. Okay. Teacher, I am old. I have 50 years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, I can find uh, the world. Glad to go. Uh, gracias a Dios. How say in English? Gracias a Dios. Sí. Thanks, God. Yes, thanks, thanks God. God. Yeah. Thanks, God. I have my business. Yes, it's so. Okay, so do you have extra um, mm. examples for number nine and ten? Okay, let me, let, let me, I will find something. Uh, taking a dog. Okay, seems, okay. Seems fascination. Yes. Okay. Interesting. There we go. So let's go back to the main room and we are going to compare what your classmate got. Okay, here we go. Okay.
There we go. It is time to come back and to listen about your opinions. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's wait for your classmates. So did you guys finish? Or not? Just the chair. You finish. did, there we go. Okay, different type of job. What is your opinion about this type of job that we have here? First example, working from home. Let me have Fernando, Andres, Giovanni, and Erwin. What is your opinion about working from home? For me, it would be fantastic. Fascinating. Maybe kind of boring sometimes, but. For me, so, it's a movie okay. fascination. Okay, will yes. be fascinating. There we go. Fascinating. Yes. And Andres? Yes, uh, for me too. I so, think it's fantastic. Working from home to yes. be fantastic. Yes. Huh? What is your opinion, Genesis, Thelma, and William? Working from home. Um, yeah, we're working from home. Would be would be fantastic. Okay. For me, working from home must be fascinating. Fascinating. And Thelma? In my opinion, is working from home seems stressful. Seems stressful. There we go. Mm -hmm. Doing volunteer work just means Jocelyn and Lourdes. Uh, so I think uh, that doing volunteer work could be really rewarding. Okay, excellent. What is your opinion, Jocelyn? Um, the same as her, doing volunteer work uh, could be really rewarding. Okay, and Lourdes? <laughs> we were in the same team, so it's, it's <laughs> the same. Okay. <laughs> doing volunteer work. Be so let me ask boys, what is your opinion on Harvin, Freddy's, and Francisco? <laughs> Could be very challenging. Oh, very challenging. Uh, yes, for me, okay, okay yes. uh, so, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, no problem. Excuse me. Okay, in my case, I think it must be very challenging too. Oh, okay. In my case, it would be fantastic. Fantastic. Different opinions. Excellent. Having your um, business. Interesting. Let me have Kenya. Genesis and... Más? Chicas, no los puedo ver. Who else is in the class? And Erwin. Yes, teacher. Having your own business. Yes. Okay. All the time must be stressful. Okay. Because you have to think all the time, you will think about your business, on vacation, when you sleep, all the time. It's stressful. <laughs> stressful. Yeah? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is the real teacher. This is the real. This is the <laughs> This is the reality, okay? right? <laughs> it is right. Kenya, what is your opinion? Having your own business seems pretty difficult. Oh, pretty difficult. Interesting. Working on a movie set. Oh, let me listen to Harvin. Okay, working on a movie set will be fantastic, I think. Okay, Fredix, what is your opinion? Mm. 
<laughs> kind of boring. So make the sentence, please. What are you going to move it sense? Must be kind of boring. There we go. Fernando, what is your opinion? Uh, uh, sound, uh, doesn't sound uh, awful or careful. Okay, doesn't sound awful. Genesis, what is your opinion? Um, working on a movie set doesn't sound stressful. Doesn't sound stressful. Okay, interesting. Being a teacher, being a teacher, Francisco, Jasmine, uh, and let's have David. <laughs> okay, being a teacher, well, my opinion um, could be a little stressful. Okay. In my case, I thought it was also for that must be stressful. And what is your opinion, David? Excellent, Jasmine. Microphone. Being a teacher it could be really re rewarding. Could be really rewarding. Okay, excellent. Yes. You see, you have different opinions about this type of job. Making a living as a oh, tour guide. Erwin. Yes, Erwin. Sorry, teacher. Making oh. a living as a tour guide yeah, must be fantastic. Oh, must be fantastic. Jocelyn, what because is your opinion? All the time you will meet, okay, okay. You will meet other people. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Jocelyn. You will be fascinated. Lourdes. Um, making a living as a tour guide doesn't sound awful. Doesn't sound? Doesn't sound awful. Awful. So, tour guide. Taking care of sick people. Doris. Taking a care of sick people must be pretty difficult. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yes. Kenya, what is your opinion? I'm agree taking care of sick people um, seems really, I uh, don't oh know, seems very challenging. Okay, do I have Telma in the class? Yeah, she's there. Telma, what is your opinion? About the taking care of or retiring? About taking care of sick people. Oh, taking care of sick people. People is uh, must be pretty difficult. Oh, must be pretty difficult. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Interesting. William retiring at age 40. Oh, okay, let me have this one. Retiring at age 40 um, doesn't sound helpful. <laughs> right. <laughs> Exactly. Doris, what is your opinion? It's fantastic, Doris. Yeah. <laughs> Retiring at age 40. With a good pension. Con una buena pension. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm great. With a good retirement plan? Sure. <laughs> exactly right. Retiring at age of 40 sounds for me impossible because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 40 anymore, he says. Okay. So retiring at age. ¿Qué otra edad pondríamos? No, but in El Salvador. ¿Qué edad nos retiramos, chicos? What is that retiring age in El Salvador? 60 probably 55. Oh, 55. Oh, no. 55, but the, 
There is no money. There is no money for, <laughs> no. <laughs> for the retired people. We need to keep on working, right? So no, no, no. Okay, give me your examples, number nine and number 10. Let me listen to you. Writing a script for movies. Okay. Could be fantastic. There we go. What is your um, example? Telma. Doing both. Oh, having your business. To be uh, very, uh, really rewarding. Okay, really rewarding. Okay, being a politician. What is your opinion? Being a politician. <laughs> really rewarding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> okay. it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Uh, pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> difficult, right? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Exactly. Being a politician, can you give to the prison? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so? Flip the fifth. <laughs> I would say it. Yeah, right. So, interesting opinion. If you notice, I was not asking you why. <laughs> because I need you to go back. I'm going to send you with different classmates so you can ask them why about their opinion you know erwin he was giving me you know some examples on why why is it interesting why is it fascinating stressful very challenging so i'm going to send you to different groups right now please ask your classmates why you know using the same example Vamos a trabajar en diferentes grupos. Here we go. David. Bueno. No va a ir, dice. <laughs> Let me see. David, David, siempre se me pierde, David. Here we go. Okay, go class. Speaking time, so you can practice. There we go. Fascinating, it's fascinating. I imagine, imagine. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. Right? Yeah, it's, it's a dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> um, but here in El Salvador is impossible because the salaries are very but, but, lower. But you imagine. What to do? What to do if you retire in that age? Maybe only that if you have a a gift of the lottery, or a, <laughs> or a plan, pray. No, I don't know. Okay. What More. is the sentence? Uh, the teacher said that we can use the same, but we need to ask why. The number one, working from home, could be 
stressful. The sentence is, uh, is, is. Uh, yes, yeah, we select the stressful. What do you okay, think? Okay, but, but Fernando, Fernando answered the, the, your, your opinion about the working from home. I don't, I don't work at home. Uh, I used to, but uh, the last year I changed my job, so I have to go to the office. So I miss, I miss it. So yeah. would be, would be fantastic if I, I work from home again, but I have to go to the office every day. Mm -hmm. um, we have yes. more time. In your oh, case, yes. Fernando, you make make you schedule during the day or not? Mm, no, I have a routine because, uh, but I I every day from Monday to Friday maybe I do the same things. Every day I work, I walk the dog, I I buy I bought the 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 the, 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 the food. Uh, the I drive I drive to my to the work. I drive to the car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and this in your in your case of working from home uh, since past yeah would be would be because I, I, I don't work from home but would be <laughs> would be fantastic oh would be fantastic why not only is not only you stay in your home and you spend, do, you don't spend money for the, in the transportation for the. Yes, if you say money, you say money and gasoline if you have a car or maybe in money for transportation and make food to you, you you save money uh, for food because you, sometimes you if you were at, at the office, you maybe you are born the, uh, for the for the same food and maybe just every payday you you said because you have to do everything about the business like making yeah. like. Coming up with the idea, coming up with the brand, coming up with like whatever is it you're gonna offer. Like, for example, you, you're an architect, like you're gonna offer your abilities to create a structure, to create something. And in my case, I study economy. So I have to think like, what am I gonna offer to the person, offer to their finances? Like the study of how the economy is gonna grow, the exports, imports investment and all that kind of stuff so like it's, it becomes very challenging by yeah. itself i mean yeah, when you have uh -huh. when you have someone someone telling you this is what you have to do somewhat becomes easier in difference like i have to think what i'm gonna do yeah. you, know, you know it's is it still no. thinking <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but anyway. yeah no, you know, actually, I agree. I wrote the opposite again because I think it would be uh, having your own business would be very rewarding because it yeah. can also be rewarding. But yeah, rewarding. I agree with you that it, it is stressful because uh, in my in my field uh, as an architect, I've worked, I've had my own business uh, in the in a way that I used. I, I was independent and I used to mm -hmm. create my own projects. And it's the most stressful thing about that is that uh, you're responsible of what you're doing. Because right now in my job, we have I have my boss and whatever happens, he's the one that takes the, the hit and 
but I mean, if, if it is my fault, then I, then I, I admit that it is, and I take the yeah. blame. But, 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 but like, yeah, but it, it, it my, I had a few projects that I had to. It, it was not just design. I had to uh, manage the construction, and I, it was. I spent a few days thinking. Oh, receive a, uh, receive a, a reward for your end of the year or another time, but they don't see how do you, what do you do to pay, to pay the role, the, the all all of the, all of the issues that you have in your world. It is, it is uh, demanding and it is stressful. Yes. It is stressful, but when you when you get something important, it is really rewarding too. What about you, Jocelyn? I guess would be very challenging. Well, talking about my own experience because I am I don't have any experience in in a known business and I guess that being your own boss can be difficult. You need to yes. prioritize your time. You need to deal with different kinds of people and you will be the boss of somebody else. I guess that this will not so easy. So Erwin, <laughs> la admiro mucho. <laughs> yes, 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 it is important. That that people is that they get the the world in moving <laughs> second question it's so difficult but you can yeah. be happy sometime but it's so difficult so difficult but, uh, yes uh, uh, hablando de eso erwin sabe que hace poco pasé por ahí por su negocio usted uh -huh. trae eh, la plaza 25 algo así se llama la, la 29 plaza 22 <risa> sí, sí, ajá, y, y yo iba con un familiar y le digo, eh, yo tengo un compañero que es el dueño de este negocio, y me dice, ah, pues vamos a ver. <risa> Estar ahí, le digo. Son cinco locales. Ay, Dios, no, fui al, estaba por allá, por el escalón. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ahí tengo, andaba. Sí, cinco, tengo cinco locales, la 29, pasa por, por la 29, este es mi negocio. Ah. No se habrá equivocado, yo se lo... No, la 29 plaza, color anaranjado y sí, sí, sí. así, ajá, sí, 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 era ese, lo leí, o sea, no sé muy bien las direcciones. And the teachers has, has to deal with some students that are very, had a bad conduct. Uh -huh. So it's, it's... There we go. <clears throat> okay, okay. It is time to finish with this activity because it is almost time to finish with this class, you know? Let's see, let's listen to your classmates' opinion about this, okay? We are just going to have like two or three examples because we need to have the last activity. We still have 10 minutes, right? Look, let me ask you about your opinion. Here we go. Jasmine, please pick one of your classmates. I just pick one? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to be uh, Jocelyn. Okay, so Jasmine and Jocelyn, you're going to tell me about this one. Your okay. opinion about working from home and why? 
Go ahead, please, girls. So uh, I, in my opinion, working from home seems kind of boring. And the reason why is because I mean, you're, I'm going to be in the same space every <laughs> single day. And I'm going to be just by myself every single day so I won't interact with anybody else or like have someone change the rhythm of my day like in a physical way so I think that will be boring on okay. the day to day interesting what is your opinion about this one well Just for me working from home in will be fantastic i am talking about my <laughs> own experience because nowadays i work from home since pandemic has started i am working from home mm -hmm. since that day so i guess at the beginning it's kind of boring like everybody else opinion mentions is really kind of boring don't go out and be at the same place but uh, for me now is the best I don't, uh, now when I uh, try to wake up really early, it's kind of difficult for me because I wake up make it maybe 20 minutes before my <laughs> star, my chef starts, believe me, and it's really nice. And you can uh, wear a pajamas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can tell, you know, interesting. So Jocelyn, pick one of your classmates, please. <laughs> Jarvin and Andres. Andresito. Okay, Jarmin, Andres, tell me about this one. Being a teacher, what is your opinion, guys, and why? Okay, teacher, for <laughs> me, being a teacher must be really challenging because I am not a patient person and I can teach. I, I am too bad when I teach in something. Okay, there we go. What is your opinion, Andres? Okay, in my case, I know that it's very difficult because my father was a teacher. He's retired now, but he told me that, for example, uh, they don't work only five hour, hours in a school because then they have to prepare the classes. And it's very difficult because some students have a bad conduct. So, yeah. very difficult. It's Quite difficult. There you go. Andres, speak two of your classroom, please, so they can participate. Okay. Uh, William. And? and Francisco. William and Francisco, what is your opinion about this one? And why? It's beautiful for me. Okay, go ahead, okay. William. Sorry. Okay, okay. About the last one, teacher, retiring at, at age 40. Yeah, that one. Mm. Uh, it doesn't sound uh, hopeful, but uh, in, for example, here in El Salvador, it can be real. Yeah. Uh, we talk, uh -huh. There is no, enough money for <laughs> the whole people mm -hmm. yes. it could be it couldn't be real for me possible right there we go what is your opinion francisco well for me yeah, retirement at a 40 years could be fantastic but if i have a a good pension oh there we go. Francisco, pick two of your classmates so we can finish with this activity. Okay. Let me check who is the victim. Mm -hmm. um, Fernando and Edwin. Fernando Erwin. Here we go. Taking care of sick people. What is your opinion? Why? Uh, could be. Uh, Really rewarding, but at the same time, it's stressful. Because I, I don't know, maybe you you can you want to to care on a person, a people, or, or a person specifically, mm -hmm. and you you feel right doing that, but it's very difficult. It is. It depends on the sickness. The it depends. Yeah. Right. Interesting. 
Okay. And in you, Arwin? For me, I had a problem because I don't have a vocation for to medicine, okay? Okay. I don't have a vocation because I feel that if I have a vocation, you can study medicine or all the kind of, all the kind of, of career. Mm -hmm. Taking care of sick people uh, will be chemo's boring. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I don't have occasion for to care, take care of one person. I I don't know anything about this one. So it would be kind of boring. There we go. Class, let me ask you, what what have been practicing today? What is the topic that we were covering today? Let me stop sharing. Uh, Jerons as a subject and Jerons as an object. As an um, object. Okay, so what is the definition that you can give me about general phrases? What is that? What is the description? It's a phrase that can be replaced with this, uh -huh. but it ends up being super vague. There we go, there we go. Excellent, Hennessy's. It consists of <laughs> a gerund or any modifiers or complement. But in simple words, as Enesis she was mentioning, ahí estamos. It can be substituted with it. So this is what you need to keep in mind, right? Questions about this topic. We haven't, uh, we are not done with this topic yet because we are still missing an extra activity, you know? But we are going to have this activity tomorrow. So, as of right now, I'm going to check the attendance list. And we are going to finish the activity with this activity today. Quiero ver how many students do we have right now. Ahí estamos. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Ahí. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Harpin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Freddy, can you stay just for five or ten minutes today yeah. after the class? Yeah. Okay, Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Charles. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher. And Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Porti. Present, good night. Thanks. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I really have a great night. Bye bye. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night to you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Hi, Freddy's. <laughs> Hello. Hello. ¿Cómo estamos? How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. A little bit tired. You're right. In my case, you know, yeah, it has been a very busy day. For real? Yes, you know. But, you know, um, just let me ask you, advanced number two, how do you feel with this level, with this course, the topic that we are covering? Is there anything that you want me to help you, you know, or to re-explain? about the topics that we have been covering. Algo que podamos reforzar, friends? Right? 
Actually, I don't think so, but uh, sometimes I get lost because um, let's say that uh, it could be easy what we'll be looking at, but uh, at the same time, when it comes out, let's say it, uh, with a specific word, let, uh, when he said, uh, like you say in germs, or let's say uh -huh. it, uh, with the different terms, like when we're like, exactly uh, past, pre uh, simple past and all that. Um, I could do it all, all the work easily, but sometimes when they're when they're telling me I'm um, pressing past, simple past, and I'm like, so for example, if I ask you about yeah. the definition, what is a gerund? So you don't really know about how you can explain in easy words about this definition. Yes, is that what like, happens to you? Yeah, it's because it like for me it was like the first time to hear about or like the ah. word gerunds and and what like the definition of gerunds. Mm -hmm. But um, actually um, we use we use like gerunds almost every day. I yeah, think. right. Yeah. Uh, we can have gerunds at any type of conversations, you know, and we do not know that we are using that structure. This is what happens in English, right? And the same as in Spanish. Lo mismo que en español. I do not know if I'm using the simple present in Spanish or the present progressive, present continuous. Ni siquiera lo sé. En español usamos simplemente la gramática porque... Ya la sabemos utilizar. So it's the same in English. But as you may see, ¿por qué es importante dar definitions? Porque estamos aprendiendo un idioma, ¿ok? Un nuevo idioma. Entonces, sí es eh, quizás no necesario memorizar la definición because you are not a teacher and you're not going to be asked for a definition, right? But this is just like extra information. Eh, que manejemos tal vez la idea cómo se le llama a la estructura. Tal vez no la definition. It's not that important, right? Mm -hmm. But if you see this type of examples, ah, ya sé definir o sé qué es este tipo de ejemplo. Okay, walking mm -hmm. in the rain is sometimes fun. Si yo veo este tipo de oraciones, la idea es que sepamos definir. Esta es una oración usando una gerund phrase, ¿ok? No tal vez la definición. Y en otras palabras, saber que en este caso a gerund phrase la puedo sustituir por un pronombre. Y ese pronombre es it. Sí. Ajá, creo que tratemos de asimilar la información en esa manera. ¿Por qué presentamos gramática? Si se fijan, no me tardé tanto tiempo en la definición. Because I do not care about you knowing about the definitions. La mayoría de prácticas estuvo acá. Real practice. Porque en esa forma, nosotros... Ajá, ya está. Bien. You're, you're eliminating the gerund. Yes, we are. For example, so, look. Well, let's, let's say um, when you're when you're beginning a conversation, if you're eliminating the gerund, mm -hmm. how can you explain what you're talking about if you're el eliminating that? Mm -hmm. So probably we are not going to do that. Sería raro que empezáramos. Look, all of these examples with the pronoun it. Creo que no tendría sentido si decimos it seems awful. It could be stressful. No hablamos. We do not speak in that way. No hablamos así, pero ¿qué es la idea? Simplemente que sepamos identificar que Toda esta expresión, all of this expression, it's a gerund phrase. Porque toda esa expresión puede ser sustituida por it. Yeah, okay. but it, mm -hmm. it could be, uh, 
It could be for a, like, let's say, like in the, in the middle of a conversation or in the end of the conversation. Exactly. Uh, not at the beginning, because if you do it at the beginning, mm -hmm. how can the person will know what you're talking about? Exactly. There we go. So look, in this case, in this class, we were just having this type of practice. Jerome's phrases working as subject. Solo tuvimos este ejemplo de working as subject. La primera opción, ¿ok? ¿Por qué mañana tenemos la segunda parte? Jerome phrases, but in this case, working as. ¿Cuál es la segunda opción? Acá está. Objects, como objetos, ¿ok? Que van al final de la oración. Para que sepamos usar ambos tipos de oraciones. This is the, the examples, or these are the examples that we are going to have tomorrow. All of these sentences, five different sentences, are with gerunds using or use as objects. Son los que van al final de la oración y que también se pueden sustituir por it. ¿Ok? Eso es para que sepamos simplemente saber cómo se llama. But I know I have been listening to you and your English is good. Your level of English is good as well. Ok, so, ¿qué skill nos cuesta más, Race? El speaking, listening, writing, or... Writing. Right? Really? Because I don't practice it. Because you do not practice, right? So, which yeah. is the easiest one? The easiest one is the um, speaking. Speaking, right? Yes, it is. It is. I know that you express your ideas in an easy way. So just a recommendation, you know, whenever we are working in groups, I know some of your classmates, they do not really like to talk, you know, or to express the, their ideas. So please motivate them to speak because you already do it, right? Tengo como a dos o tres, más que todo, no, no, no recuerdo si la lista, pero les da miedo hablar. Okay, no hablan. Así que motivemos los Freddy a que también puedan ellos participar, right? So we can help them. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. Some of them, they were telling me that um, they would like for you to, to like to pick or choose them uh, in the class mm -hmm. in order for them to work in the class because they sometimes they feel like they're uh, abandoned, like like there's some, they were telling me that they feel like only the same person working every day. Yes, right. So if you see, if I ask for volunteers, yeah, everybody, only the yeah, same yeah. girls and same guys are willing to participate. And what is the idea for this type of courses, you know? So everyone can participate. So I really try <laughs> to working groups, me gusta que trabajen en grupos, because in that way, probably people is going to feel free to express themselves and to practice their English, but not. Hay algunos que ni así se motivan, yo, okay, y ahora que hago, yo, what can I do? It's really hard, you know? So, uh, yes, sé que eso pasa, ya me quedé con varios de sus compañeros, y eso me dicen, me da miedo hablar, why we do not need to be afraid at this level, right? So you're just doing a great job, Freddy. Okay, so keep on doing that great job and keep on participating. If I ask for volunteers, be the first one to be ready to participate, okay? Do not be afraid. And if you have questions or this type of comments, you can express yourself during the class because probably your classmates are going to have the same opinion, right? So probably, probably they are just afraid of expressing about this type of comment. No? Alguna opinión más, Freddy? No, solo No, estamos bien. Me dijeron que le gustaría que seleccione a varios, me dijeron. Sí, vamos a hacer eso. Más que todo, he visto algunos que sí les cuesta un poquitito más. Le también Ajá. participar. Yo creo, yo creo que quizás son tímidos en la manera de que 
tienen miedo que el equivocarse, quizás. Sí, sí, bueno, sí. Equivocando se aprende. Pero no todos lo ven así, eso es lo que pasa, no todos lo ven eh, de esa manera. Y de igual forma he tratado de a veces incluso hablar un poco más despacio, porque también escuché ese comentario de uno de los compañeros, muy rápido habla, teacher, no, no, no. Y no es la idea frustrarlos en este nivel, para nada. La idea es apoyarlos y que pues puedan sentirse seguros de lo que están haciendo. With you, Freddy, yo sé, eh, no tenemos ese problema. Esa eh, confidence está ahí. Me gusta bastante sentirnos seguros de lo que estamos haciendo. Pero igual eso no quita cualquier comentario o pregunta, Freddy, please, hagámoslo en la clase. Para que si algún compañero no se motiva a decir la misma opinión y tal vez piensa lo mismo, pueda opinar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, entonces, cualquier cosa, tema de gramática, algo que podamos compartir incluso en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí estamos, ¿ok? Para okay. que los compañeros también repasen. So, we are going to stop here and thank you so much for staying. We are going to continue with this activity tomorrow, ¿ok? So I really hope you to have a great night. You too. Good night. Okay, good night to you. Bye-bye.